Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the super action statue JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Magician's Red figure, which is a character from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, obviously, and I don't know anything about that, so I can't tell you about the likeness or anything about the character, other than just like the other super action statue figures, it's kind of really cool and then kind of not so good at the same time. These guys are kind of like enigmas. So let's get him off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands at just about six and a half inches tall, which makes him just about 16 and a half centimeters. Definitely has some size to him over some of the other imports, but the quality is always an issue, almost always an issue with these super action statue figures. As you can see, the paint job is pretty cool. There's lots of shading. It's nice and flat, so the skin doesn't look glossy like some of them do. Lots and lots of paintwork. The fiery, feathery parts look really cool. So, tons of shading there. They're shading throughout all of the red parts of his head. The paint job on his eyes are, is really good. The mouth is painted, so that's really cool. And then we have this really nice paintwork on the hands. All in all, they do a really good job with the paintwork. Sometimes it's a little hit or miss, but for the most part it looks really cool. The problem with these figures usually ends up being in the articulation, and we'll get to that. But first, let's look at the accessories. Uh, the oddest accessory is that you can replace his lower legs, and I guess that's the thing of the character, into these fiery boot-like bird-like legs. So they just swap out at the lower uh, knee joint, and you can do that for both sides. And you'll see in the photos at the end what that looks like, but you can also see his joints very loose, so that's not ideal. We also have some interchangeable hands. So you can see we have these kind of gripping hands. Let me zoom in so you can see a little bit better. Kind of like gripping hands, kind of like style pose hands on the uh, figure from the packaging. Then we get fist hands. I don't think I swapped them out, but either way, these are the hands you get. We have some fist hands, which look nice. And then we have some karate chop style hands. Again, they look really nice. And then we have my favorite, which are hands that have fire coming out of them, which is always a cool touch. Anytime you get some translucent fire, that's what I like. And they did a good job, so I'm really pleased with those hands. Very, very cool. And then lastly, we have our SAS JoJo's Bizarre Adventure display stage. This is the base part of it, so you've got a little bit of texturing and some printing on there. It's actually just sculpted into the bottom, but we have that. Then we have the upright piece, which is just like the SH Figure Archer Figma ones. But we also get this piece, which goes into the stand first. So you peg that in there, and it has two more... I'm not going to bother doing it all the way, but just so you can see. It has the hinge, then it has two more sockets. And you can use those for this if you want to, or you can use those sockets for these guys, which are really cool. They're, they're embossed and they're on translucent plastic and then painted. So that's awesome. You guys, I guess those of you that are familiar with JoJo's probably know what these are, so I'm not going to bother reading them. I don't know if they're for action poses or not. Somebody complained that the pose I did that went with the last one for one of the other characters didn't suit him for Crazy Diamond. Well, that's because I don't know anything about the show, so that's okay. You just need to see the parts. You don't need to see me pose them in the show accurate poses. Anyway, as far as articulation goes, we have the hinge and peg on the head. So the head will move around on top of the neck a little bit, but it's mostly just that hinge that you can see pretty obviously. And of course, the mouth is hinged, so that's kind of cool. It's a nice touch. The neck is on a single ball peg, so that'll just move around a little bit. The shoulders have a ball hinge that pegs into the torso, so that entire hinge is awkward. That's one of the problems with these figures. So that should rotate around, and it will. Not too bad. It's a little awkward, but it does work. And then we get the hinge out of that also. We have our bicep swivel down here. Double jointed elbow, which gives him really good range. Careful though, if you try to rotate that elbow, these little elbow cups will pop off. So be careful. They're tiny and they go flying when they do. The wrist has a ball hinge. Um, and here's the thing with this. Sometimes these are loose for some hands and tied on others. So... Just be careful when you're putting the hands on that you don't break anything off, but they do give you a good range of motion, so that's pretty cool. Uh, these guys do not rotate around the forearm, by the way. For the torso, we have a double ball peg, maybe a single, I can't say for sure, but you get pretty decent range. There goes one of the hands. Told you, they come off sometimes, they're a little bit too loose or too tight. Decent range, not great. And then for the torso, the lower torso, we just get a swivel. Again, not great. 
For the hips, it's super not good. Fixed ball pegs go straight out into these sockets. The, that's the cupped part right there. So you can bring the legs forward. It's really stiff, so be careful. Uh, and then not out to the side. That is it. That's worse than Marvel Legends. So you really just get the forward and back and the thigh swivel, which is fine, but the out to the side, not good. Not good at all. And then the knees, they go super hyper extended, which is not great. But then when you put them straight, the joints are really ugly on this guy, and they're super loose. And they don't give you great range going backwards due to the sculpt, but that's the sculpt, so I can't really fault it for that. So double jointed knees, but they're really loose, not ideal. Then for the ankles, we have same kind of joint as in the uh, wrist, so it's a ball hinge. You can rotate that a little bit to get your ankle rocker, which is kind of good. doesn't give you the best range, but it's good enough. And then we have a toe hinge right there, which is decent. So all in all, the figure looks cool. If you want to put him in a, in a pose and put him on the flight stand type of thing, that's going to be your best bet because he's not going to be the most dynamically posable figure and you're not going to really want to put his weight on these loose knee joints. So I would say you swap these guys on there and pose him in the air and you'll be better off. So it's okay. It's not my favorite figure in the world, but there's enough good stuff going on that if you're a fan of the character, it's probably worth picking up. And if you're not, then you probably don't want to get it. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.